When Richard Ayub was elected Attorney General of Louisiana in 1991, he received over one million votes, more than any statewide candidate in history. Earning that kind of support is an achievement for anyone. For the son of a Lebanese immigrant who came to this country chasing the American dream less than 70 years before, it is even more impressive. Born in Lake Charles, Louisiana in 1944 to hard-working, humble parents who ran a small but popular restaurant, Richard Ayub grew up as one of five children. He graduated from Lake Charles High School, earned a degree in history from McNeese State University, and a law degree from LSU in 1972. After first working for the Attorney General of Louisiana, Ayub returned home to Lake Charles, taking a position as an associate at the law firm of Camp Carmouche. There he found his niche in the firm's defense practice, which included pro bono work for indigent defendants. He gained tremendous trial experience at a young age, and at only 33, he appeared before the United States Supreme Court assisting in a case opposing Louisiana's mandatory death penalty statute. At age 40, he ran for district attorney of Calcasieu Parish. A perceived long shot upon entering the race, few, even in his own family, thought he had a chance to win. He did, with 63% of the vote. He would be elected president of the National District Attorneys Association and in 1990, President George H.W. Bush asked for his assistance in drafting and passing a federal crime bill. Upon signing the bill, the president would call Ayub an all-American hero. In 1991, he decided to join the race to fill the open seat of Attorney General. Initial polling showed him dead last among five candidates. Ayub's own brother teased him asking that he at least beat one of the other candidates. He did better. After making the runoff, Richard Ayub was elected Attorney General of Louisiana in an historic landslide, winning nearly 70% of the vote. He would again earn over a million votes upon his reelection in 1995. Among his many accomplishments in three terms as Attorney General are the enactment of a statewide school safety plan and winning over $4.6 billion for the state in litigation against tobacco companies. Even upon being elected into the Louisiana Political Hall of Fame this evening, his legacy of service to our state is still being written, as he was recently appointed Commissioner of Conservation by Governor John Bell Edwards. Hey Dad, we're so sorry we couldn't be there today to celebrate with Amy, Philip, Corey, Christian, and Anna Michael, but we are so proud of you and we love you so much. Dad, you deserve it. We love you. We're proud of you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Richard Ayub. <laughs> 